The brick manufacturing plant transports most of the finished brick by rail. A loading ramp and dock sets alongside the tracks for loading. The forklift has always been stationary, I wanted to do a makeover and add some animation. First, the ramp needed to be rebuilt in stronger plastics. After the glue had dried, I painted the inside of that see-through plastic to protect the paint. When the paint had dried, the ramp would be ready for its place. So, here on my module, on my end loop, I have a brick manufacturing plant, and I've had a ramp with a forklift on it that <clears throat> loads the bricks onto a flat car. I've wanted to change it and have the forklift moving. So, I've taken this uh, ramp, converted it into this ramp, and now I can use an Arduino. Then I can take this servo and place it underneath here with a magnet, much like I've done for the uh, Caterpillar, and make the forklift move back and forth on this ramp. So, I'm going to dig into this here. I've got to dig out this spot where the ramp goes so I can mount the servo underneath. Well, there we go. A few minutes later. Now I've got a hole I can put my servo in. I've got to recess it. It has to come up from the bottom. <clears throat> I have to recess it, but that's where that's going to go. And we're going to have a moving forklift pretty soon. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here is the fun part. Disclaimer. I am a learning programmer. I know just enough to get myself in trouble. There are projects on my layout that I want to animate and create movement. I can see where the Arduino platform can be a big help. So this is my first attempt at an animated scene with the Arduino. Studying this platform, I found that libraries included with the Arduino are quite valuable. They're kind of like a shortcut. I included the servo library in this sketch. I'm a newbie. So I'm still unfamiliar with quite a bit of it. But I found components that worked in my sketch. I played with the numbers a lot to make the forklift speed seem normal. I found the coding for a random pause at the end of the forward motion and at the end of the backward motion as well. I also wanted the backward motion to be a little bit slower, like the drivers being more cautious backing up. I had to play with the numbers, the milliseconds of movement forward, so the travel seemed appropriate for the 90 degree drive up the ramp and onto the flatbed car. I've already written the code, you can see here, but let me see if I can take you through it. Again, I am a newbie. But you can see here that I've included the servo library. I've named my servo forklift. I have an integer, and that position is at zero. My setup is my servo is attached to pin nine. All right. So in my loop, I have a random, I have a delay. I know I believe you could use millis on here, but for this one and my first time I'm using delay. I've set it up with a random command that it can decide between 1,000 and 10,000 milliseconds how much of a delay. And that delay will be at the beginning and at the end of its travel. I've included a for loop. So in my loop here, the position is at zero, knowing that my servo will go from zero to 160 degrees or about. So I'm starting at zero and on my way to 160 and if it's less than or equal to 160 I want it to plus one so it's going to move in steps of one degree from 0 to 160 each one of those steps is written to my servo 
I have a delay here of 35 milliseconds between commands in this for loop. You can see here at the bottom I have a delay of 70 milliseconds in this writing, in this for loop, meaning that it's going to take twice as long for this for loop to execute as it will this for loop. That gives me the difference in him driving forward and backward. So after we get through this one to the 160 from 0 to 160, then we come down here, I have another delay. It's another random delay between 1,000 and 10,000 milliseconds. So at the end of his travel, he pauses. At the beginning of the travel, he pauses. I have another for loop, and all it is is a reversal of this for loop up above. I'm going in a backward motion, so it's a minus 1 of the position. So he's going from essentially from 160 to 0. I'm writing that position to forklift, which is my servo, telling the position, telling the servo to move that amount, that position, that one step. And again, I have this delay of 70, which slows down my speed going from 160 to 0 versus the 35 milliseconds that goes from 0 to 160. Again, guys, I'm a newbie. I hope this makes sense. Let's see how it goes. All right, a little bit later, this is the result. I got the servo mounted underneath the decking. I already have it programmed, and so we're going back from there to the front of the dock. So it's going from this spot here, swinging around like it's loading the flatbed cars. We'll get it put back up and get the ramp glued into place. Do a finished product, do a finished look. I'm pretty excited about it.